Mira, played by Amber Heard, is essential to the success of Aquaman 2. <laughs> Although her screen time in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is minimal, Amber Heard's Mira plays an important part in the DCU's last film. Mira is the princess of Zebel who fell in love with Arthur Curry and became Aquaman's wife and Queen of Atlantis, played by Jason Momoa. Mira, on the other hand, definitely does not receive the same level of attention as she received in the original Aquaman film. As seen in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the new sequel is much more about Arthur's relationship with his half-brother Orm who tried to war with the surface world in the first film. To that end, Mira very much takes a backseat in terms of screen time, though she is still an invaluable piece to the sequel's overall plot. Here's Mira's limited role explained, why it's still so crucial, and whether Amber Heard's very public trial with Johnny Depp had anything to do with Mira's very limited screen time in the new DC movie. Aquaman and Mira married shortly after the events of the first film, as stated by Aquaman's introductory voiceover in The Lost Kingdom. Mira later gave birth to their son, Arthur J.R. Mira and Arthur ruled the Seven Kingdoms while living on the land with Arthur's father at the Amnesty Bay Lighthouse, with Mira doing her best to hold court while Arthur sleeps through proceedings. They also have to deal with the supervising Council, which consistently blocks Arthur's efforts to create harmony between land and sea. As a result, Mira can be seen in a few new shots of this opening montage along with recycled footage from the first Aquaman. The new shots include Mira sitting next to Aquaman on his throne while also doing laundry while Arthur cares for their son. However, the emergent crisis of a corrupted Black Manta and his newly acquired trident puts both the land and sea in danger with an imminent global meltdown and the dark return of Necris, the cursed lost kingdom of the Seven Seas and its ruler King Kordax, the evil and imprisoned brother of King Atlan. While Mira has appearances throughout Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, they are quite brief and largely relegated to action sequences. In total, Amber Heard's Mira appears on screen for less than five minutes of the DCU movie. Mira only has about nine minutes ten lines across the entirety of the new film as well. Furthermore, Mira is absent from the movie's entire second act after she gets critically injured by one of Black Manta's optic blasts during his attack on Atlantis, forcing her to recover on the sidelines while Aquaman breaks his half-brother Orm out of prison to locate Manta and figure out his next move. On a character level, Mira's limited role in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is quite surprising. After all, she had a huge role in the first movie as a key character who was by Aquaman's side, helping him realize his potential to become King of Atlantis while also helping him prevent his brother's war with the surface world. In comparison, Mira's role in the sequel is so much smaller, though this was likely due to a combination of the film's plot combined with behind-the-scenes strife and notable public controversy regarding Hurt herself.